tiny and threatened species of bird who makes its nest on this popular beach in Isla Vista is getting an extra layer of protection from dogs. I'm Juliette Lamar, your community reporter in Isla Vista at that very beach, talking with beachgoers about the new dog ban at Sands Beach. At only six inches long, with excellent camouflage, the snowy plover is hard to spot. Imagine a small marshmallow on a stick, that's a snowy plover chick. The species has seen a dramatic decrease in population, largely due to habitat loss, human disturbance, aka nests getting stepped on, and predation, sometimes by dogs. Which is why UCSB Reserve Director Christina Sandoval says it's necessary to ban canines from this beach. We tried for 20 years to just have people leashing their dogs, but unfortunately 60% of people start leashing their dogs before they give it. Plovers are listed as threatened under provisions of the Endangered Species Act, and nesting sites across California will no longer allow dogs, according to California Parks and Rec. For Sands Beach, that rule starts today. But many didn't know the rules had changed. Carrie White frequently brings her dogs to the beach and doesn't think a dog ban is necessary. As long as people are responsible for their dogs and put them on leashes, I think hopefully it would be a nice balance. White respects the birds and always leashes her dogs in plover habitat. Cyclist and dog owner Jerry McGowan thinks dogs should be able to run free, but... If it's really bothering the birds though, you know, then they should be kept on a leash, but maybe not prohibited. I saw many dogs while at the beach, some leashed and others not. The Coil Oil Point Reserve is in the process of educating the community about the new rules and hopes beachgoers will respect them. People can still come to the beach. Uh, that's not a problem. They can watch birds, they can sunbathe and surf. If you do visit the beach, don't bring your dog. Obey posted signs and try to walk close to the waterline to avoid disturbing nests.